It took good. Okay, I'm gonna try to raise it up now. Okay, come on, come and check this out. What it's gonna look like when we raise it up there. All right, here we go. Wow, it didn't even hurt the footprint underneath. Oh my gosh. Check it wow. out. Wow, let me, uh. What do you want me to do? Well. I just can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Wait, I want one. a picture of you. Hold it. Hold it up. Get a picture gosh. of you. Gosh. Yeah. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, it's huge! I told you and that's, that's it must have hurt us or something. Okay. What kind of call did it sound like? Like the one other day. Okay. You hear it? Got this down over the hill. It's coming up a storm. What here. time do you think it is? Two o'clock? There it is. It's coming up a storm. We gotta get back to we're in dangerous lightning. Alright. <clears throat> Dang it. Alright. Okay, isn't that weird? No, there's a half eaten banana. I don't know what's going on here. Let's check it out. Check it out. Let's see what's going on. Who knows? They might. Hey, can you tell by the banana how freshly it's been? Yeah, um, it ain't turned. Well, it ain't brown. No, you know I've had brown? these bananas out here for two days two now. Two days now. So this this is fresh because wouldn't it be brown and flies all over yeah, it? Yeah, ants are just now getting on it. See the little ants? That's it. I just poked one off. Or I shouldn't have done that, but. Yeah, the bananas turn brown. And yeah, you break them, they, they turn. This different. is fresh, and I, I was curious to see if an animal had uh, gotten to what it. Eats bananas. What, what eats bananas? Possums. Possums. Oh. I'm sure a raccoon would. Uh, they wouldn't need to have a possum would eat it all. Well, yes, of course, any kind of wild animal they would have eaten it all. Three. Being an actual might footstep. be the little one. Could be. And he remembered that. He might have gave you the rock. The big mama, I don't think, is going to give you nothing. The little one might be trying to communicate. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know their hand. Here's something I found. Check this out. This is what I'm telling you. Look at here. Bones that were a dead deer. Something just ripped it to pieces. It could be coyotes. Could it be a Bigfoot? Awful weird. It's like clean. It ain't that old either. It didn't even leave it hair. It ain't even no hair around it. Gosh. And the head's all crushed. Here's the head. Check out the head. The head's crushed. See, it's been busted open. I don't know nothing that busted open a deer skull. You see where it broke the nose off and everything? Just snapped it. Throw the jawbones way over here. Here's the jawbone way over here. Check this out. Wow. That's the bottom jawbone. Pretty good sized little deer right there. Have to put him back together here. Somehow it went up in here like that. As you can see there, not too much on a puzzle here once they break loose. You can get the idea over here. Pretty good sized little deer. About three years old. But look, it, it, there's nothing left. <laughs> Coyotes, maybe? Or could be a Sasquatch? Bigfoot family just pulling it to pieces? Just scattering. I'm eating here. I'm eating over here. Look, why are the bones piled up? Look, there's a pile of bones. 
head right there. See, there's all the head stuff. Backbone over there, hip bones over here, rib bones right here. Something had a feast. <laughs> This is what them Bigfoots are after, those deers. White-tailed deer, they can chase down one. Turn away for now, we'll get some more clues later. What you all you know, what everybody, I always wanted to know how to catch a snapper turtle. I used to see this guy right over here on TV all the time, catching turtles. Stuff. Right. We're going to be in a pond today with none other than Turtle Man. Right. So if you want to know the real how to's of how to catch a snapping turtle, you got the man right here that knows how to catch a snapping turtle. <laughs> this guy made catching turtles legendary. legendary. So uh, we're going to have somebody volunteer to get in that pond with him. I'm not sure if it's going to be me or not. Yeah. Well, whew, it's crazy, baby. But I protect him with my life. That's the way Turtle Man is. If you want to catch a live action snapping turtle, just get on in here with me, stay beside me, and I'll protect you and show you how to catch a big old turtle. Mean, too. But he was a turtle. And them bubbles going that away? Yeah, see him. Get a hold oh, of we're on the trail. We're there he goes. Look at him. We're after him. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't make it that time. He's going to bite the camera. This is good enough, but I, I wanted to say um, thank you for a fun day. I really enjoyed it, and um, I had fun during the turtle hunt. Yeah, I had fun today, too, man. I've been trying to get in that pond for 10 or 12 years, if not more. That was, that was like that. Woo! It was a blessing today, boy. We got some turtles today. Woo! <laughs> man, that was awesome. Well. And caught some big turtles, too. I, I know that you really enjoyed turtle catching. <laughs> yeah, now, let I me sure ask do. you a question. Do you like 
Bigfoot hunting better or catching the turtles? I like catching the turtles better because I can catch a turtle. I can't catch a damn black Bigfoot. <laughs> well, we're trying. We're trying. And I'm going to prove it that these people are going to see a Bigfoot. I know that I'm scared. I know that. But last year, if you remember that movie that you saw yeah. or that you made me watch, it yeah. it had a lot of people dying <laughs> is based on a true story and and that's what Sorry scares about me that, turtle gal. then when i see the size of the foot tracks and all that but i i am getting better but i will be the first one to hold bigfoot's hand in the end i will be i promise yeah, just, he likes your blonde hair anyway I just think. be patient with me <laughs> he likes you anyway so you just got to get used to him yeah that's what you got to do yeah. <laughs> and um uh, <sighs> that was a big turtle we called oh oh my gosh i was Man, <laughs> I can't believe I did that. How many seconds? 25 seconds, huh? Huh? Yeah, in, out, bam, had him. <laughs> you saw it. Uh, you know I can do it. Well, you caught several turtles today, but... Let's see, one, two, three, caught five. Two little ones, I ain't counting them. Well, I, um, while you were catching the turtles... I don't know. I just started thinking about like a few years ago when I was filming that, uh, when you were, you took me on the property that you grew up on and you were telling me about when you were little and. Yeah, over at Worsing County. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, anyway, I was just thinking about that. You remember? Yeah, that I remember story? that. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's where I first saw Bigfoot when I was nine years old. Man. That brought back memories that day. Whew. That's scary. Boy, I was scared for a whole year. I know. Here. This used to be an apple orchard right here, and if you look behind me here, down there in this woods, there's a white tree down there, a sycamore tree, and down there in that little patch of woods there, about 6 o'clock in the morning, I was doing some squirrel hunting on August the 20th when I was a boy, when I was 9 years old, and that's where I shot at Bigfoot. Bigfoot jumped out on me and roared at me, and he kept scaring me, and I said, I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot, and uh... I just was yelling at, I thought it was somebody trying to scare me. So, so all of a sudden, he throwed a big tree limb at me. And I said, all right, you asked for it. Boom. I shot and it went, roar. And I fell down on the ground. I loaded up again. I said, I'm going to shoot again. And it went, roar. I said, boom, again. And it roared so loud, it screamed ten times louder than, roar. And I took off running from that little woods, dropped my gun, so I'm running hard as I can up this little valley, up that field. And I come through those little trees down yonder, where right like below is cedar. And I run up where the light pole is, and we used to live right behind this barn. There's a tall tree over there. That used to be our house right there, the old grinder's house, and uh, we used to live there in the old scoot house. And I busted the door down, hollering for my daddy and mama. I said, Bigfoot, Bigfoot's out there, Bigfoot. And then, Tim, whew, went with you. Tim come out the next morning, on, on up in the daylight hours, and he said he saw him just tramping around across this field right here. And he crossed in front of this barn where the silo, on the other side of the silo, and there's a pond over there. And he went over to the pond, there's a pond, or we call it the bass pond. And it's a, I don't know if you can see the shadow of it or not there. But that's where it's at. And Tim said it come back across this way, and it come across this little trail here, leaped over that fence. There used to be an apple orchard right here in this big field. All, all over, all this used to be an apple orchard. Used to be the ghost house right here, the big ghost house, and it was a big old ghost house here. But it walked right down there and started picking apples and went down. There used to be an old rock pond here, old rock yeah. pond, but it's dried up now. And uh, dozed it out but anyway that's where my brother tim and my daddy saw it over in the bath pond getting drink water one day too and he was fishing scared him to death he just said he walked up there to fish and there it was and he just he just backed off and went right back to the house he said he was like me so that's a turtle man out for now catch you later that's a bigfoot story well 
I don't know. How about if we just get some rest tonight and then tomorrow I'd really like to go back to the food plot and see what's going on, our gifting area. I kind of want to go look for maybe where some huts would be or uh, or yeah. like, I don't know, do they live in a cave? Do they live in a hut? Yeah, I don't know. I just wanna, wanna... That's a good question. We do, we do got to find that out. Do they sleep on the ground or do they a, build little huts or little canopies or... Do they sleep on rocks or in caves? We got to find that. That's a good, de good detail. We got to go see what happens. We, we got to go find where they sleep at. I got to get to know this thing where I can track it down and catch it. So the more I know about them, I can close in on them and figure it out more. That's yeah. a good idea, Turtle Gal. Yeah. Good idea. That's a good idea. Up an appetite. You got Me any too. food left in the fridge? Yes. Now, you know that gumbo stuff you made? Yeah, I've still got some. That sounds pretty good. That sounds good to me. I'm starving. <laughs> All right. I'm but, hungry. Sounds you ready? like. Yep, let's watch a good movie too. All right. Something funny though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know where that Bigfoot stuff <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Come on. Well, the bananas are gone, and the half banana's gone, and the one banana that we had here, it was gone last time, but we had a half banana up there and a whole banana here, but here's an old track. Check this out right here. Something stood right, right here. Here's a track here and here. You can see where it's mashed in the mud from the last two or three rains. We ain't been back here for, what, two or three days? So we decided to try something new on these critters. Something stood right there. Whatever it was, it must have ate those bananas. We're going to do some tests, and uh, of course I got this idea too. So, uh, all right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set out some more food for them. All right, so we went to the store and got all this goody stuff here. They like cookies for sure. So... More bananas. <laughs> We're going to get some cookies. And check out what I got. <laughs> got me an orange bowl. <laughs> and some honey. I'm leaving, leaving my cucumber too. He might like cucumbers. I don't know. So We're going to put that down here. All right. Look here what we got. <laughs> Turtle Man has finally broke down. And got us a deer cam. One of these cameras. So whatever comes and gets this food. We're going to see a picture. Right on this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Live action. And I got this pole here. Just in case they. I'm going to move this pole. I'm going to move it over here now. See if they might want to beat on a tree or something. I mean it's been here all these years. So anyway. Set these bananas here. Set one here. Set one right here. All right. So, my next project is, is that I'm gonna pour this honey into this bowl. I'm gonna see if they are attracted to bright colors. And this is a rock I'm gonna use right here and pour the some honey on this rock. All right, I'm gonna do that right here. I'm setting all this up here. Okay, here we go. I'm finding out what these Bigfoots eat and what they like and all that stuff. Might take it a few minutes for it to run out. Might have to get a little stick here. Mm-hmm, right there. Kinda messy if I was a if I was an animal, I'd like honey too if I was a Bigfoot. I don't know if they get honey or not, but they get some kind of sweetness. We're just doing experiments on these on these creatures and we're doing experiments seeing what they like, you know. That's what we're gonna be doing. Doing a lot of experiments. 
Plus, we're going to figure out if do they live in caves, or do they live in overhangs, or do they build little shelters, or just lay on the ground. We don't know that, you know. So we're going to try to figure that out. We are. That looks like plenty enough, don't it? And if it's like me, you know, and if it's like me the way I do stuff when I was a kid, I like to lick the pan. <laughs> so we're just going to leave the jug right here too. I'm going to set one on top here. Oh, all right. Put a little crumbs in the, right there. That'll be good. All right, make it a little good smell. Cookies smell good too. Ah, boy, they smell good. Chocolate and cookies. Mmm. If I was a Bigfoot, I'd be eating. Now we're ready for a Bigfoot. So whatever comes in that zone, we're going to have it. So we got this thing up. Got it in the perfect angle, high and low. And we got it all camoed out here where it can't see it. At least I'm experimenting with this. And we're ready for a Bigfoot to get on camera. Live action. I can't wait to see the, the results. All right, huh? turtle gal, come here. This here is uh, evidence again. Something came through here since we've been here. Check this out. Look at this. Now, we remember this stick? You said it moved it? Remember that now, didn't you? That's a tough stick to break. You can't break that. It wasn't broke last time. Now look at it. It's broke. It's broke. It wasn't broke last time. And look, it got twisted off right here. Whatever stepped on it this time or kicked it, it broke it in two. I can't figure that out. That's, I mean, it's rotten, but something broke it. It wasn't broke last time. Gosh. I see something else fresh, too. Let's check it out. Now. It's like something peeled this bark off. That's awful fresh looking. It's like something just started up there and just ripped off a sheet of it, pitched it down there, and pitched it right a little bit of it right there. I don't know what's going on with that. See that tree? How high it is? See where it pitched it down? And that's awful fresh. Looks like something stepped over that limb right here. Knocked off the bark right there. Check that out. That's awful fresh on this side here. Check the side. See that? Right here. See that? That's awful dark. This is, this is old here. But this ain't old. Something stepped on that and knocked that off. And this is a piece of tree. This ain't the same tree. This is a tree from over there. Right here. Check it out. See how fresh that looks? Look at that peel off that bark. It goes all the way up, and that's fresh. Like something peeled that right off of there. What was he thinking? What well, could have done that? And it's high up, too. That ain't no animal doing that right there. That ain't no animal. Well, I'm just sitting here studying more evidence there, and let's ease on down to check out that, that cliff. We go on down there and check the cliff out. Something uses this a lot. 
I mean, there ain't even no new leaves sitting on this here thing around this tree. Not even new leaves. I can't understand it. You can see where it stands right here. Like it's even sitting down. There has been a deer through here. There's them tree limbs again. One's broke there, it's old, but like there's one hanging there, it's broke over. Ain't been that long ago. Probably the leaves are still green on it, so of course it's been four months ago when that was broken. Could have been a storm, I guess. But then you walk over here and here's another one, a real old one right here. Of course it could have been a storm, but I don't know. I've been finding this a lot lately. Sometimes I find limbs hung in trees. I'm, I'm starting to pay attention to landmarks or something. Like for the, this creature is so smart that it, I don't know if it's marking trails or not. I don't know what's going on. I've just been studying these things hanged in a tree. I mean, there's a dead limb right over here. Check that out right there. Can you just, can you zoom in on that turtle gal? See that tree, that, that should, there's no limb, no, there's a limb hanging right there and it shouldn't even be there. I mean, there's no tree like that around here. There's no pine. The pines are way up there. I don't know if you can see that limb hanging there or not. See that? Something looks like it just hung it up there just perfect. Everyone on this place the same way. Just hung there perfect. It's like they just set it up there. Something tall did that. I'm going to start paying attention to them limbs. I've been noticing them everywhere I go. This is another print. It must be a big one. This is a, I mean, this foot, look at here. It goes all the way to here to right here. I mean, this is my big 11 and a half foot, and his toes are still right here. I ain't even got about two of my feet. And it made a strut from here all the way to right here. My gosh, that's for me. That's a whole gun link, and I'm doing this. I'm stretching. That's how far it is, right here. That's one walk. <laughs> Are you getting this? That's just one step. <laughs> Going right down through there. Crazy, baby. Whew. That might be a big, big, the big, big foot. We ain't even seen the daddy yet. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want the deer cam to get him, not me. <laughs> yeah, here you go. All right, let's get but, uh, This is a big, big, the one we haven't seen yet. I don't even want to see him. Don't got me nervous. I'm always listening now. After you see one, you listen to everything. You, 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 you gotta be quiet. I know I'm talking a little loud because I'm nervous. Makes you nervous. All right. Check this out. Very slick. 
That's a wide trail right there. Yeah. You know what? This comes right up this hill. And it's straight up. Stay on top, that way we hear something, we can look down at it. Something definitely using this trail, check that out. It's got a trail right down through there. And it goes up it like it's no problem. <laughs> it is so slick. Got deer that come up this trail too, and Bigfoot follow deer trails. I'm telling you, this is live action right here. So whatever is doing this, it's just coming straight up it like this. It's going right on up. Be careful. Very slick. Be careful. This range messed up everything. Laying in the trail, can you see it? Laying right there in the trail. I found this, but look right there. <laughs> I thought I'd put that on film. I like the arrowhead, honey, but <laughs> I, just I thought really I'd put it on there. My blood pressure <laughs> is a little high. Okay, might need that for protection. Okay, just get it and let's go, please. <laughs>
good view right here. Check it out. Straight down, at least 40 feet. Wow. Nice and thick, too. Good cover. Bigfoots can hide in that. And they use this place for a lookout. These Bigfoots, they can look out over this hill, sit on these rocks and look out over this valley, up on these hills, looking for deer and stuff. They could take a rock and just throw it at them and knock them in the head and kill them if they eat deer. And they follow deer now. We do know that for a fact. This would be a good spot for a lookout. They can see all the way around them. They might be good target shooters too. Throw a rock right on some. Bam! They've got a lot of hiding places too. Let's head on down through here. Honey, come here. Look, look at this. Yeah, I can't tell. One, two, three, four, five. Check this out right here. Here's another one right here. Look at this. Yeah. It's been flattened out. You can still see the old toe mark. Look at there. All right, put put your foot next. Oh, Jack, but look at this. There she goes again. I think that's the baby. Might be the baby, but this big toe right there. That thing rain's washed it off. Put your foot on the other side. That's the toes right here. Your foot goes way back here. They got a trail going down this hill. Look at that slide down that, like that, look where something, like just at the tracks way down there. Look at this trail. See way down there? Let's go check it out. Yeah, I see it. The deer are. The rain has messed it all up. We got some uh, live action over here. Check this out. There's some dead limbs over here. Something's trumped them, that grass. It's fresh. Them weeds. Well, it did. It lifted that up. Walked right through here. Stepped right here. Check it out. You can see where it smashed it. Right here. Look, that's been smashed. Those limbs ought to be sticking straight up. But look at it. It smashed, broke in two where it stepped on it. You didn't even see where it smashed the juice out of it. Look at that. Look at them leaves all bruised up. You don't get that. Something stepped on that. Something stepped on that. Probably hit his toe on that rock. And, oh, so that's more weight over here. All right, let's continue on. I got some good places down here I want to check out. We're looking for uh, beds and stuff like that. Looking for stuff. Check that out. Man, I see something else. Look at that tree right there. Something bent that tree over. Let's go look at that. What 
whatever it was, it went right through here. That's some more broken limbs, broken twigs. I'm making my own trail because I don't want to mess up nothing in the trail. So I'm kind of working my way over here. Something stood right here. Check this out. Yeah. I told you something was messing with this tree. I found out what it is. Check it out. Well, we can cancel out a Bigfoot on this one. This is a buck deer. He rubbed that tree. He must be rubbing his velvet off. I thought we had a Bigfoot sign. But it, I don't think we do. But I knew something hit this tree, yo. I did. But it's got a crack in it right there. So whenever I grab this tree, and you grab this one too, it's a wide, it's a big buck. You can cancel the deer on, I mean the Bigfoot on that one, because this is a deer. So I can tell a deer. So I'll tell you what this deer did. It scraped that limb and this limb right here. Scraping that velvet off. So that's what done this damage. <laughs> calm down, turtle gal. Calm down, turtle. Like I tell Neil, calm down. Calm down, man. We're good. We're, we're good. Let's move on down the trail. We figured that clue out. See, I'm going to catch this thing. I'm going to show you fans. I'm going to show everybody what I'm trying to figure out. I ain't just giving you clues. And when I'm on a trail or something, I'm going to see what it is. That's the turtle man rule. Moving on down. Check this out. We got a clue here. Something's definitely been here. Something knocked this limb off. Right here. Check it out. So something is definitely walking through here. It broke this twig off. It must have been doing what I'm doing. Knocking down spider webs. And that ain't me. It went right through here. Whatever it is. I found a baby footprint right here. Check this out. Looks like toes to me. It ain't no deer. See it? Like he slipped on his toe. He was tippy toeing right here. One, two, three, four, five. That's about big as my foot. See it? Yeah. There's a branch here. Huh? Looks like a baby one. Okay. I think it's the one of the baby one I saw. You see that? Yeah, that's a new branch. There's something broke that branches right there. I yeah, see that. Look at that. That's probably about, about a week old. Whatever it is, it's coming through here regularly. Looks like it went down there. Let's check that out. That's another footprint. Looks like something went down through here. Like he landed right here, but the warm rain done covered it up. Something landed right there.
thought this was a cave, which it might have been at one time, but it finally caved in. It's been a pretty big little cave. Yeah. Kind of filled up on us, though. Caves do that, though, so. Ain't no activity going on here, so. On to the next spot. No sleeping quarters yet. Check this out. Got some live ice in here. A little house we're in. He lives here. He built him a little house right here. You seen them little brown and white speckled birds? They go brr, 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 brr. Sometimes they get in old houses. Well, he lives right here. He probably had a little butt, bunch of little babies right here this year. Just thought y'all want to know that. Something's been coming up and down through there. Check that out. Boy, if it hadn't rained, if we, we would have found some tracks. That looks like a footprint to me. That ain't right. Right. Keep on moving along here. A lot of raccoons here too, boy. Trails everywhere. Bobcats. God. <laughs> Check this out, turtle gal. I think we found some big foot. Uh, blowing, blowing boogies. <laughs> Check this out. Oh. Could be a snot sickle. Oh my god, that's funky too. Could that be Bigfoot Slimer from his nose? Cleaning his nose passages out. Stuck to the tree. <laughs> I think it's some kind of fungus. Never know, though. You want that for evidence, turtle gal? <laughs> Put it in your pocket, honey. <laughs> yeah, some kind of fungus. Look at this. There's some more of it. Yeah, it's just growing. We're good. I thought I had some new evidence here for us. <laughs> you never know, new fans. I'm new at this. I mean, what would you thought if you came up over this? What would you thought? All right. Thought I had some more DNA. Whew. All right. Don't think it's nothing. All right. Let's move on. Okay. Let's move on. All right. I got to figure a way out of here. He's out turtle now. Like waterfalls. Wow. Can we get can we get down there? It's awful dangerous, ain't it? Well, turtle fans, it's like this. This creature has plenty of fresh water. This is coming right out of the ground, right out from under that rock. This is a spring that runs year round. Wow. Plenty of fresh water for him to drink. It runs all the way down this little waterfalls like right here. Really nice. 
plenty of fresh water for him. So we've got the water situation figured out here. He can go right like this, big paws on the wall. Ooh. Of course, I'm not, I'm gonna boil my water first before I drink anything because they say you gotta boil your water. Always remember that. No matter how thirsty you are, always boil your water first. All right, we're moving on. Okay, we we heard a branch fall. We thought something might have been thrown at us, but it could have just been a bird laying on a limb that fell. And it's hot and muggy too. And it rained last night. We got like two inches. It's kind of washed away our evidence now. I can't hardly track, but I'm I'm finding old signs and. It ain't nothing around this area, so I'm looking for beds right now. Could they be sleeping right here? We don't even know. I mean, this would make a good good place to sleep, but no action here. Ain't nothing wore down. It's too many rocks. and See, they move that all out of their way. You ain't going to sleep on a rock. I don't care how big a person you are. Let's head on down through here. We got a long ways to get, get going. It's getting dark, too. Well, I was trying to walk around this bluff today. It goes for miles. And uh, see, I was looking for places like this, like upper le levels like this. And I thought maybe Bigfoot would be bedding up in here. It would show signs where he's been sleeping. So we're looking for beds, so we ain't found no luck. We got a long walk back. And it's getting dark, and I don't want to be out here after dark. So we're going to head on down the ridge and get through this jungle here that we came through. As you can see, it's thick. We found a few signs of a little Bigfoot, little tracks, but we ain't found no big, big, big tracks yet. So we think the little one might be hanging around here, but they're definitely not sleeping around here. If they are, they, I haven't found it yet. So this is the new... Try again tomorrow, so it's getting late. Until tomorrow, we'll show you some more stuff. Uh, total man out for now, so we better get to walking.